Holiday shopping officially kicks off next week, but the past year brought some cyber theft nightmares. Investigative journalist Brian Krebs broke the news of the huge data breaches at Target and Home Depot on his cybersecurity website. His new book is called Spam Nation, the inside story of organized cybercrime from global epidemic to your front door. Brian, good morning. Good morning. So there have been a number of these breaches that you broke the story on. Are we any safer now? That's an open question. I think we're going to find out in the next couple of weeks uh, when we hear about another one of these big retail breaches. But it's, you believe there's going to be another one too. I don't have any doubt. Yeah, uh, it's it's difficult to tell if you're shopping at a Main Street store how secure they are, how secure their credit card systems are. I hope that more retailers have gotten the message that if you're handling unencrypted card data in your network, you're going to be a major target for the bad guys. Mm -hmm. So what makes you so sure? Mm -hmm. Uh, look, the retail industry is just the lowest of the low-hanging fruit when it comes to cybersecurity. These are organizations which traditionally feel they're not in the cybersecurity business, even though their whole business probably would fall apart if it weren't for all the IT stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they traditionally look at uh, uh, a security as a physical security issue, right? You know, c customers <coughs> stealing from them, employees stealing from them. Even when they look at the cash registers themselves, they don't they don't perceive that this this is a cybersecurity issue. Okay. I think the most important question people want to know at home is what happens to my information once it's stolen? Uh, it's going to wind up for sale in the underground and probably for a lot less than what you would think. And but what are they doing with that information? Uh, it depends. If it's credit card information, they're selling it on uh, websites that allow people to download this information and encode it onto a new card and go shopping in places like Target, Best Buy. They buy gift cards, they buy electronics, things that they can easily resell for cash. Um, if it's identity information, they're selling that in the underground. Again, a lot less than you would think. Uh, I was just looking at a site that, that specializes in selling identity theft packages, and they're having a sale right now for 25 bucks. You can get somebody's credit report, their background report, their social security number, mother's maiden name. So this, this information is out there. So who is doing it? Uh, increasingly, it's organized crime that's perpetrating a lot of the, uh, the retail hacks that we've seen, uh, particularly in the case of Target and Home Depot. Um, but from Russia. But it led crime. you to Russia, though. Your Absolutely. investigation was in Russia most of the time. So there's, there, there are two parts of this, right? So there's the guys that are doing the attacks, and, and those guys, majority of them are in Russia, Ukraine, former Soviet states, Romania, mm -hmm. uh, Bulgaria, stuff like that. Um, but the guys in, in the credit card breaches, the guys that are actually using these cards fraudulently here in the United States, mm -hmm. increasingly are gang so. members. So. Okay, but why in Russia? What, what is it going on over there in those states that, now them, that enabled them or give them the capacity to do it? I think it's a it's sort of a critical mass. It's, these things kind of snowball over time. They had a, a, a very a strong focus in math and science and technology over there in their education system. It lends itself very well to uh, to the types of things that hackers do. You know, programming, coding, things like this. And uh, there, there's it's just a different culture over there that has a, a much higher level of mm -hmm. acceptance for this activity. The title of your book is called Spam Nation, and you focus on I think it's the one billion junk emails we get every day. I always thought if you don't click on the actual link, then you're safe. But you say we should be more careful than that. Part of the problem with, it, with spam is that it starts with compromised computers. And the, the bad guys relay the junk email through a whole bunch of computers that they've hacked all over the world. So if you're not keeping your system up to date, if you're not doing what you should. Okay, how to, do we protect ourselves? You know, what should you do? The, 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 one, the most important thing is to keep the software on your system up to date. But, but people like us don't keep our software up to date. I don't, that doesn't mean anything to me. Like that's, it's controlled by CBS News or, you know, your Gmail account or whatever. Because right, you have, you have a, a computer, a home computer, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So uh, one of the things I try to explain to folks when I, mm -hmm. when I try to impress upon the, the importance of taking this stuff seriously is think about how much you have invested, for example, in your inbox your email account, what you would lose if the bad guys got control of that. Your friends and family would get spammed, they would get stranded in London emails, you know, this kind of stuff. But any account that you've signed up with at that email address, they can get access to that account just by going there and saying, hey, I forgot my password, send me a link to reset my password, boom. And a lot of people don't really consider this. Uh, that, that tells you a little bit about how much these accounts are worth. Well, it started, Brian, because you yourself were, were hacked and it took you on a journey that now will be very helpful to the rest of us. So I'm yeah. sorry you were hacked, but it's very <laughs> helpful to us today. That was inspirational. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Brian Krebs. Thank you. Spam Nation goes on sale today wherever you like to buy your books.